Okay, folks, today I want to talk about, I, I get calls all over the place, all over the United States, and had a customer call me, wanted to know how many CFMs a 10-inch flex is for, and how many CFMs an 8-inch flex is for. You know, a lot of these owners, they can buy this flex off of Amazon, and they can buy it off of Google, and then go to Home Depot, and then go to Lowe's, and they can buy this material to do their jobs, but they really don't understand how to do their jobs and this video is going to be a little bit more for the homeowners and the, the do-it-yourselfers maybe a little bit for the technicians I'm trying to just get a general video to talk to people how to do things and the biggest thing is don't undersize the ductwork when you undersize the ductwork you know it causes the head pressure to go up causes a high static pressure which means you hear a lot of noise you hear it blowing too hard or you hear it sucking too hard I always say it's in pain if you can hear that system breathing or, or pulling in air like say pulling water up through a straw it's in pain it's, it's hurting and it's also going to shorten the life of the equipment it's going to cause the the compressor to just run in super high amps and if you go outside and fill the line it's going to be, be frosty sometimes it's going to sweat it's just not good okay guys so we're going to talk about that today so Right now, I want to talk about flex size. You know, you got your flexes. You got five-inch flex. You got six-inch flex. In this case, I got 12-inch flex here. I have 10-inch flex. I have eight, and I have six. You also can get five, seven, nine-inch flex also. So different flexes for different applications. Say for a typical bathroom. You want to put a five inch flex you know the average bathrooms maybe 100 square feet 10 by 10 or less five inch a typical bedroom say the bedroom is is also a 10 by 10 or maybe a 14 by 14 maybe go with the seven inch flex okay there's a rule of thumb like one cfm per square foot 0.75 cfms per square foot there's so many variables out there guys uh, to do this so I'm just gonna give you an example here let's talk about static pressure for a second and I want to talk about flex duck versus metal duck and most of us are going to be using this flex duck and here's what some typical flex duck designs look for I just want you to look at this this is a flexible duck calculator and and basically what happens here this is your your unit setting over here you're coming off your supply plan you're gonna set another box here and you're gonna these are drops this is like a maybe a bedroom a living room a kitchen you're gonna go over here you're gonna catch a bathroom a family room maybe an office okay so this is what this duculator is designed for is flex duct so let's just talk about this a second I'm gonna use the first size flex I got here six inch pull out your tape measure and you measure it from basic from wire to wire six inch even let's go right here one more wire to wire it's gonna be 8 inch etc 10 inch 12 inch you get the picture okay so let's just go 6 inch flex with flex duck later okay now here's what you got to remember a 6 inch flex here you want to use a 0.1 static pressure on the flex duck later right and how many CFMs is that good for the CFMs is really only good for about 85 CFMs. Okay, now let's just go to 8. Just because I got the flex line here, I want you to see the size of the 8. This is an 8 inch flex. See? This is also aluminum foil flex. This is a tough flex. 8 inch flex. 0.1 static pressure. So that 8 inch flex is only good for about 170. Okay? And I'm going to go one more. Let's just go ahead and go one more. Let's go 10. 10 inch flex. 0.1 static pressure. 300. Now I'm going to back up one second. And I'm going to, I had some customers come in the day and they said, well, well, David, my return is whistling. How big does my return need to be? Most people think when we talk about return, we talk about the size of the return grill. You know, you can have a size return grill you can have a 10 inch flex on this you can have a 16 inch flex on this but the point is it's not the size of the grill that goes to the return system it's the size of the flex or the duck boards that goes 
to the return okay because we got to make sure these returns are sized in order to breathe once again whereas it doesn't make no noise where you have that heat exchange where that air is coming across of it and it's got ample airflow to go across that coil go across that motor and go to the other end of the AC system okay so let's talk about that a second we're gonna pull up a, a return now normally we would use maybe an 8 inch return in a, in a bedroom okay so let's just say we're gonna use 8 inch return in the bedroom so I'm gonna go 8 inch on a flexible ductulator, we're going to go with 0.4 static pressure. So this 8 inch return is good for about 100 to 10 CFMs, but we're going to derate to 100. So I know this is good for 100 CFMs. Okay, we're going to talk about tonnage in just a second. Let's just go up to a 10 inch. A 10 inch return going back to the return side of the system at a four-point static look at that it's only good for 170 CFMs we're just going to go a step further 12 inch 12 inch 0.4 300 okay now now what you're going to say to me is well hey David I, I don't have that ductulator I have the one my boss gave me a train thermostat you know there's different kinds of flexes out there. I just want to mention, you know, there's there's the uh, Hart and Cooley flex, there's uh, Thermoflex, there's uh, also there's different type of flexes out there that doesn't matter. But the one I want to tell you to do is make sure you always use the aluminum foil flex. It's really the better, most durable flex. Okay. So let's get back to this. So this is a metal ductulator. You don't see the word flex anywhere on here, do you? Nope. You turn it over these are all metal fittings okay and each metal fitting has a friction loss calculation already involved in it but let's just talk about this so now I only got my flex ductulator right now I've only got a metal ductulator so here's what I'm gonna do on my metal ductulator I even wrote it down for you I'm gonna use 0.4 static okay so this is what we normally use on a metal ductulator if it's metal, but if it is, we're using flex duct. I'm going to use 0.4, so I'm going to go here 0.4. So let me show you something. 0.4. Okay, now let's go to six inch. Where's? Okay, so I'm at six inch flex. Right here. Okay, now how many CFMs is a, is a six inch flex for? six inch flex on a metal ductulator it's 110 right but really it's not we are at about 65 to 70 on this so what i'm telling you guys if you go to a metal ductulator and you use this type of uh, calculator i want you to derate your flex down okay i want you to derate your flex to somewhere around right here 75 you know what let me make it real simple for you if you are using a metal ductulator instead of using 0.1 like you would on a flex go to 0 0.05 numbers are even let's do it that way so let me show you something here let's go to 8 inch so we're at 8 inch 0 0.05 okay it's good for 160 right but if you're using point 0.1, it would be 230, which is wrong. You don't want to do that because there's so much friction loss. See how this is all rough? That air's got to go all the way through this flex, and it's bumping. And every time it hits these springs or hits these ridges, it slows the airflow down, okay? And if it slows the airflow down too much, it causes too much restriction, which restricts the airflow going, going to the rooms and back from the rooms, okay? So, you know, another thing I want to talk to you about is grills. You know, we'll go into these houses and we'll go to these owners' houses and they'll talk about, you know, I just had all my duct system done and everything's. Now, I'll look at the grills, and the grills are these old grills. They got maybe a quarter inch, maybe the, maybe the width of this pin will possibly go to the grill it looks kind of something like this this is not a supply grill by the way it's for you guys that sees this this is a pastor grill but the point I'm making is a lot of people has these old grills 
and they're thin. You, you can't get the air to come out of these grills. The grills are so important when you design the duct system. And a lot of times what you guys need to do, and especially the do-it-yourselfers, when you replace the duct work, you need to replace the grills with the right size grill. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's take this grill, for instance. You see this grill here? Can't get my pin through this one. But see, on this one, I got a half inch space here. The airflow will come out of this tremendously. I mean, it'll come out 10, 12 feet out of the grill. It's, this is, uh, a lot of people call them sidewall grills. Some people call them throw grills. But the point I'm making is, if that airflow is coming in correctly, that air will come out and, and blow out 10 or 12 feet out in the distance. I just replaced a bunch the other day and I told this owner he had the little sidewall diffuser and the air was just going out to the side. He couldn't even feel it. After I replaced the grills, he could feel that air 12 feet out. You know, I had another customer. She told me, she says, David, I have to leave my AC down on 74 in order to feel cool. I said, well, if you'll replace the grills, you won't have to do that. Well, how do I know? I says, because the, the air will come out much easier, be less restrictive, less resistance. And, and you'll feel much better. So we replaced the grills. She was able to turn her thermostat from 74 where she had it before to 78, the same amount of cooling because the, t the body naturally feels cooling at 15 feet per uh, minute of air. I mean, if, we, if you feel 15 feet per second of air or per minute, you feel it, you feel cool, you feel comfortable. One more thing I just want to point out is the returns. You need to get returns to have a nice big wide return space through these. See another thing about half inch louvers? This is your typical return grill and you want to use pleated filters. But the point I'm making is if you don't have grills that has wide open louvers, both supply and return, replace them. You'll be doing yourself a favor guys, okay? I hope this video explains a little bit of things. I, I know I covered a lot of stuff in such a short time. We always try to blog on everything that we do. We put it on our website, jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. And most of all, if you have something you need to know, if you'll send me on the reply of Google, I will turn around and try to reply you back. Or if you have something you want me to talk about, okay? I appreciate it. Have a great day.